Uh, hello everyone. Uh, first, I would like to thank the organizer, ASEAN Art Association, uh, for giving me this opportunity uh, to share my experience with you all today. Uh, for me, art is a part of our life. When we go out, we wear something nice, something beautiful, uh, nice jacket, nice shirt, pants or shoes. Uh, that's all art. Uh, no one wants to see someone wearing something ugly. Uh, we love to see uh, beautiful things. Uh, beautiful make us happy emotionally and uh, spiritually. How did art begin? We knew that art started from prehistoric period. Uh, many drawings or paintings were painted on the cave wall. Uh, we can see from this slide uh, a photograph took from a cave of Altamira. Uh, North Spain. Uh, there were traces of drawings on the walls of caves between uh, 35,000 to 11,000 BC. These drawings were regarded as prehistoric art. Uh, this slide also uh, about prehistoric art. A drawing from Lascois, France. Uh, from this evidence, it shows that men had used drawing as a communication uh, between them. This uh, photograph uh, shows that this uh, drawing uh, painted uh, between 16,000 to 14,000 uh, BC. Informal art education, uh, drawing and object requires the understanding of uh, form and space. Form is a three-dimensional object with a volume of height, width, and depth. What is space? Uh, space uh, refers to the perspective and size between shapes and objects. Object in space has a foreground and background. Now, uh, I will share with you how to create form uh, and space uh, on object. Uh, our subject matter that we use uh, today uh, are uh, uh, an apple and a pear. So um, we need uh, a pencil, uh, paper, and also an eraser. First, we create the shape of the object using lines. Uh, we use uh, repeated lines to create form uh, of the object. To capture the correct form of the object, we must know the direction of the light and uh, understand the correct the and understand the character of the object. For example, a round apple should have a rounded uh, structure. To create form, uh, we must know the direction of light where it falls on the object.
then we mark the light and shadow on the object so that uh, it forms the round shape of the apple. The darker the lines, the more we get to see the form of the subject matter. So now we can see the form uh, of uh, the apple. To create to create space between two objects, we must uh, place our second object behind the first object. and uh, repeat the same process of light and shadow Make sure the line of the front object is darker than the second object. Mm -hmm. 
the light and shadow on pear is the direction of the apple You can erase the unnecessary lines around the drawing so that the uh, drawing look clean. So uh, you can you can try this uh, at home using your own subject matter. Uh, this is the finished drawing uh, that we did just now. Visual art is uh, defined as having a visual object or experience consistently uh, created through an expression of skill or imagination. The term art includes media such as uh, painting, sculpture, printmaking, drawing, uh, decorative arts, photography, and installation. Artistic disciplines such as performing arts, conceptual art, and textile arts also involve aspects of visual arts. Uh, also included uh, within the visual arts are the applied arts such as uh, industrial design, graphic design, fashion design, uh, interior design, decorative design, etc. Basic discipline in fine arts are drawing, painting, prints, and sculpture. Painting is an important form in visual arts. Paintings can be natura naturalistic or representational, also like uh, semi-abstract, abstract, op art, uh, pop art, surrealism, impressionist, cubism, and many more. There are many isms in arts. Uh, realism artwork such as uh, painting uh, by Johannes Wormer, uh, Girl with a Pearl Earring, uh, painted in the year 1665. We can see clearly the form created by light and shadow. Uh, this is also an example of the realism style uh, and artwork by Edgar Degas uh, titled Dancer Tilting painted in the year uh, 1883. The following style is uh, Impressionism. Uh, this style of painting uh, deal with the mood of particular time. Uh, this show uh, like a morning, afternoon, or night. In this uh, particular painting, titled Sunrise, show the first glimpse of the sun in the early morning. Uh, so as this painting painted by uh, J. M. W. Turner, also uh, impressionist uh, style. This painting uh, came from uh, surrealism uh, style. Uh, this work painted by Salvador Dali. Uh, this net painting, uh, this painting also another example of surrealist work painted by Max Ernst.
Pablo Picasso was known to produce a uh, cubism painting. Uh, this uh, title of the painting is uh, Girl with a Mandolin, painted in the year 1910. Another artist that produced a uh, cubist uh, painting was Albert Glazed. Uh, the title for the, this painting is Portrait of Dr. Theo, uh, painting in the, in the year 1912. One of the styles that has become the famous of many painter, painters is uh, abstract, uh, including me. Uh, this is painting is uh, painted by Jackson Pollock. Uh, it's a famous uh, referral painter for uh, abstract painting. Jackson Pollock style is uh, called abstract expressionist uh, action painting. Uh, the, next paint, the next painting is uh, painting by Piet Mondrian. Uh, Piet Mondrian uh, produced uh, this painting title composition with red, yellow and blue uh, in the year 1952. Um, by using uh, flat colors. As we can see here, Pat Mondrian using flat colors arranged in grid composition. To produce a specific painting, we must know uh, which suitable material uh, to use. Uh, for, for example, uh, oil color is suitable for impressionist uh, technique. Normally, uh, they use uh, a palette knife uh, to paint uh, impressionist style. Acrylic is suitable for glazing technique that usually used uh, for uh, portrait painting. Some artists uh, prefer to use pastel for portrait because it is easier to handle and they did not have to wait for the medium to dry. Some artists also uh, using watercolor especially for landscape or portrait. For all type of paintings, uh, artists would paint on paper or canvas. Uh, very seldom that uh, they use uh, other type of materials such as plywood or hardboard. For watercolor uh, painting, uh, there is a specific, specific uh, types of paper to use. Art is a wide range of human activities uh, that involve a creative imagination and an aim to express technical uh, proficiency, beauty, emotional power, or conceptual ideas. The three classic branches of visual art are painting, sculpture, uh, or uh, architecture. Uh, theater, dance, and other performing arts, as well as uh, literature, music, film, and other media such as uh, interactive media are included in the broader definition of uh, the arts. The concepts such as uh, creativity and interpretation are explored in a branch of philosophy known as aesthetics. The, the resulting artworks are studied in the professional fields of art, criticism, and the history of art. It is important for each individual of us to understand the forms and types of art fields that uh, exist. This uh, allow us to choose an art that suits the interests and talents that we have. With this, uh, we respect all existing fields of art that we have today. Thank you.